Today we're going to talk about drink packages on your cruise ship. Yes, the world of drink packages has changed the last couple of years, so let's talk about it. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so drink packages. It used to be there was a daily charge. Everybody in the room had to have the package. You multiplied that by the number of days that you're on a cruise and that's how easy it was. Then you worked the math backwards, figured out how many drinks you're gonna drink and see if it made sense to pay for a drink package. But nowadays it's all different. There's packages that include other perks that go along with the drink packages. So it kind of cloudies the waters. So today we're gonna talk about our experience with drink packages. We've kind of evolved through the years and what we've been doing. Uh, then we're going to discuss, you know, do you need a drink package? And then the very last thing, stick around to the end, we're going to talk about current pricing and what our recommendation is if you really think you need a drink package. So our experience, so we've come a long way with drink packages. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I, you know, t in reality, if I think back to the history, when we first started cruising, they didn't even have drink packages. We would go and uh, you could buy tickets. Remember the oh, tickets? Yep. Yeah. We used to be able to buy a certain number of tickets to have beer at the Lido deck or um, other drinks and you could use yep. these tickets. That was the drink package and it was, you know. <laughs> kind of like going to a dough and stag. Yeah, stag and dough, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, but then it evolved into uh, wine packages and so there's lots of times that we've done that. But drink packages, when they really came out, we were traveling with young children. They weren't really... Um, we weren't there to be drinking all day long because we were too busy being parents. Yeah. And uh, Now we're there to drink all day long. And now we don't have <laughs> young children at home, so <laughs> maybe we've started drinking. I think through the teen years we might have picked it up a bit. Oh. Yeah, It's certainly a consideration now because now we sit down, we price a cruise out. Usually we do bare bones and then we're like, okay, what if we add the drink package or the perks? Right. So now we're doing that back and forth. We really don't, not sure we need a drink package, but it certainly has changed the way that we cruise. Right. And I guess maybe that was a good time to touch on that, that when you, when you don't have a drink package and you're trying to just, uh, you know, bring wine or do whatever you've done and have your own source of alcohol, whether that's go ashore and have some drinks, it's, it's not the same experience as having a drink package to be able to do a pub crawl, for example. Right. You know, go and sit in a lounge somewhere and order a drink and listen to music. You know, it's, it's, you know, instead of having to rush back to your room and kind of top up your drink from whatever you've got in your room at the time. Yeah. It definitely is a different experience, a, a different vibe. You know, yep. There was lots of cruises that we've been in, on that we didn't even go into certain bars because it was yep. just to go in there and have a drink. Well, we weren't drinking, so we didn't bother to go in there. Whereas when you have a drink package, it's kind of a bit of a challenge to at least have a drink in every bar that's on yep. board at some point through your cruise. Exactly. Have a, a kind of a pub crawl of your own type of thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so I guess the first question, though, comes back to do you need a drink package in the first place? Right. And... Uh, if you don't drink at all, then certainly some cruise lines, you don't need a drink package. And the ones right. that make you pay per day, you're not going to get anything more than just drinks. And you need, you know, say six drinks a day to make it worth your while. It's not going to be enough specialty coffee in the world, for example, to make it worth your while if that's part of a drink package. Right. But if you are a casual drinker, right. I think that's where it's the gray area is. You're kind of some cruise lines, you're in that area of you could get away with a drink package being more affordable than buying drinks. Or... Hmm just having a drink here or there is yep. a cheaper option. So we tend to address this issue almost every time we book a cruise. <laughs> Whether this is going to be a time that we have a drink package included, purchased, whatever, what we're going to do. So for instance, this summer when we are doing five weeks of cruising, we have 12 days where we don't have a drink package. Yeah, and then we have 16 days where we do. So it'll be interesting to see how even those cruises compare with the different experience on the same ship with and without the drink package. Right. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it definitely makes a difference. And the itinerary makes a bit of a difference too. There's times that we look at the itinerary and say, okay, are those beach days, are those days we're going to go and go to Mr. Sancho's in Cosmo, for example, and I get an all-inclusive deal on the beach for a day. And, well, then it doesn't make a lot of sense to be paying, you know, over $100 a couple per day if you're going to spend all day drinking at the beach at an all-inclusive. Because right. it's kind of you're throwing your money away because you're, unless you're coming back to the ship and you're really drinking a lot, but that's, that's not our game, that's for sure. Right. So, and if you drink a lot, a lot, like, you know, I can see kind of the March break crowd that we've seen sometimes out there and your spring break, yeah. spring break and you're partying and you're just drinking all day long and you're that age and you can actually get up the next morning and do it all over again. 
<laughs> then maybe the drink package, no matter what the price is, it works for you. <laughs> We're not in that ball we game anymore. That. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, for sure. So, but when it comes back to do you need one, that isn't just to do with do you drink or do you not drink. It right. actually comes back to, okay, maybe there's ways to be able to drink affordably on the ship. And we've developed some strategies through the year that have really worked for us back when we couldn't afford drink packages and they didn't even exist in the first place. Yeah. So the one thing that we do on most cruise lines, um, when we don't have a drink package is we will buy a wine package. So you can pre or you can order when you get on board yep. your, your uh, embarkation day, you can buy a wine package that includes anywhere from four to six to eight bottles of wine. And the price goes, of course, varies from that. And generally that allows you to have wine with dinner every night. And if you have wine left over from dinner, you can take that bottle of wine to the th comedy club or the main stage theater or whatever you want and finish mm -hmm. it throughout the night or they'll save it for you and bring it back to your table the next day so we've often used that strategy and have had a wine package so that we have a drink or two each night yeah and and like jill said you can take that bottle with you at first we were a little awkward thinking it looks kind of weird going to the dining room carrying our bottle of wine and plopping it down on a table in a entertainment venue but that's just, uh, that's totally acceptable. We do oh, it all the time or we top up our glasses before we leave the dining room and take a full glass with us. You know, sometimes we do that. Right. So that's that's one way. Another way to get get uh, some wine at, at a more discount rate is to bring your own. Most, cru right. most cruise lines allow you to bring two bottles. Most do. I know Norwegian doesn't because we were going to do it on Norwegian and literally the hours before we embarked, I saw on the fine print that you couldn't do that. So, um, yeah, most of them you do, you're allowed to buy, bring a bottle of wine Each. per, yep. per adult. And now that's Caribbean cruises. We're part a little bit different with some of the European ones that maybe the rules aren't as tight as that and you might be allowed to bring more. So we're going to, we're going to investigate in that one. Yeah. One strategy that we've used as well is going out of San Juan, we found out that it's a late departure. So we were able to bring a bottle of wine on each when we boarded the ship. And then we went into San Juan and we thought, well, maybe we'll get another bottle each and bring on the ship. And that wasn't a problem. They said, no problem. Mm -hmm. Then we went off the ship and we thought, oh, let's get another bottle of wine each and bring it. So we stocked up for the week in San Juan and it was totally. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do that. That was, but we It was us kind off. of bending the rules because the ship was already out of port and there was a drugstore right across the road. And, and we were going off and spending the day exploring San yep. Juan. And then we came back and went, well, why don't we just grab another bottle and see if that's fine? And yep. it was. And if it wasn't fine, right. we would have gave it back. We didn't have a problem with that. We right. weren't trying to sneak it. We walked through and declared it. And yeah showed it so and, and we hear that europe is somewhat like that so it'll be interesting to see if uh, we can bring more than one bottle on or get a bottle at each port is what we're hearing mm -hmm. so another strategy is the free events and this, right. this may sound crazy but like we've been on cruises where almost every night we can find an event that we can go and have a free glass of champagne or or try some shots of a new type of liqueur or even the big lineups that you see for trying different types of alcohol yeah yeah, for sure. And some are better than others. I know that in our experience being on Princess, it seemed like there was free uh, champagne being offered somewhere every single day. Um, yep. and Royal yeah. Caribbean, I found, had a lot of free drinks available in the evening yeah. as well. So if you don't mind doing that and... And it's, it, you're not kind of sneaking in the back and having a drink and lining up again. It's like you're going in, you're talking to the staff, there's other people there doing the same thing as you. Socializing. And yeah, it's just kind of a social event. And sometimes it's a shopping event, for example. They're just trying to get people in there to look at uh, the jewelry or, or go look at the art, art, for example. Yeah, is another example. So, so you can always find something like that. If you're not picky, you know, I'm pretty picky, but my drinks, as you've seen, you know, but I don't mind a free glass of champagne. They've never <laughs> given away free Crown Royal in the, in the jewelry shops, have they? Well, they did. Remember? <laughs> Royal Caribbean. Not in the jewelry shops. Oh, not but in the jewelry shops. But they did have tasting of their royal, of their, uh, sorry, yeah. they had of the, their they, crown royal. The apple flavor and the vanilla flavor. Yes. Yes, and they trained Royal Caribbean that if you combine the two, you get an apple pie flavor. So, right. yeah, so we had everybody in the ship trying apple pie. We were pie. actually helping the sales guy there because <laughs> we started that and all of a sudden there was multiple couples buying a bottle of each because they thought it was delicious. <laughs> so yeah. we helped so, them that so, night. So go to the free tastings. It's a good time for sure. And the other thing that we've done is uh, look around for specials and deals. Like we found that uh, a lot of ships, and we didn't realize this for a long time, and we're just starting to get more in tune with this, is there's happy hours going on where you can get two for one drinks. You can yeah. get half price drinks, for example. Yeah, Holland so, America's really good at that. They had happy hour every day at four or mm -hmm. four thirty. Four o'clock, yeah. The exact time, but yeah, we did that very well. The first time we went there, it was buy one get one free, and so yep. we ordered the same drink thinking yeah, that's what we were to, doing yeah. 
And there was a lady, definitely in her middle eighties, saying, "Oh, you, you two young ones, you're rookies. <laughs> you or you order two for you and two for him." She told me. So the so. next night, that's what we did. We figured out how the game works. Yeah, yeah we uh, we learned from the seniors <laughs> on our cruise. Yep. And and the last thing you can do to kind of um, offset not having a drink package is you know choose your excursions. We've been on. Uh, kind of a snorkeling VIP catamaran that has free drinks on it, for example. You can go to somewhere like a beach house or a resort where you can get drinks all day long that are included. Yeah. So what we find is if we're doing excursions where there's alcohol included, we don't really want alcohol in the cruise ship in the evening. So, you know, we will try to avoid having a drink package if we know we're going to two or three ports of calls where we will be having alcohol there. Yeah, so those are just a few tips. Uh, and, and I guess the very last one, if you're a certain status on certain cruise lines, they usually have a welcome back or an elite party and that type well, of thing. some of them even have free drinks every day because of your status. Yeah, they have certain lounges where so. you have free drinks. Yeah, so, so if you make use of that, you still have access to more drinks again. Mm -hmm. So so it is possible to drink on a cruise ship and not get the drink package and still have plenty of drinks. Right, That For was sure. That's been our experience. But again, that kind of takes away from the last element that we really liked about it was that choice to go sit down anywhere in the ship and order a drink and that's what has our curiosity about the princess medallion because it's not just sitting down at any bar it's sitting anywhere in the ship and getting a drink right. so yeah so so when it comes to drink packaging for uh, all the different cruise lines they're all a little bit different and so we did a little bit of research just to see which ones were the best ones and uh ironically the the two most popular ones i'd say you know the most popular cruise lines with the most ships being carnival and royal caribbean those two don't out, they offer a drink package, but they don't package it with anything else. And there's no big discount to it. Right. Now I have been told that Royal Caribbean every now and then will have a sale on, yeah. on their drink package. If you keep looking at their website before your sale date, you might find it discounted a little bit, 10, 15, 25% off. Okay. So when we talk numbers when it comes to Carnival and Royal Caribbean on kind of a regular basis, as Jill mentioned, you sometimes can get them for a discount. Um, at least you can get Royal for a discount. Both of them, you can get a bit of a discount if you book before the cruise as opposed to on the cruise ship. Right. But, uh, and we'll give you all these numbers in Canadian dollars, so it's definitely going to be cheaper in, in U.S. dollars on the cruise line. But for us, per person for Carnival and Royal Caribbean, if it's kind of the average price for them, is around $550 Canadian per person. So for a couple, because you have to have both of you in the cabin, have to have the drink package, you're looking at $1,100 more for the drink package. Yeah, that's a considerable amount of alcohol you have yeah. to consume in a month, to, or a month, yes, no. <laughs> it would be okay if it was a month, maybe, but Seven in a days. week, that would be a, a hard That's time. a hefty bar bill, you think, yeah. yeah. And if you do the math on that, I averaged out about, you know, $10 American per drink, you know, some are a little bit more, some are a little bit less, depends on whether you drink Ryan Coke or you drink, uh, you know, a cocktail. Right. But, yeah, uh, my drinks are usually always more expensive than Mr. Connects because I'm drinking cocktails, cosmopolitans, mojitos, those sort of things, and he's always just having a, a plain mixed drink. Yeah, so so ten bucks American, around thirteen dollars Canadian. So I, I I figured the average drink price was thirteen dollars. So when you're paying that much money, each person has to drink at least six drinks a day to get your money's worth. Mm. So six times seven, that's forty-two drinks a week. We we actually tracked how many drinks we had on a Norwegian cruise one time where we had unlimited drinks, and we drank you know mimosas in the morning. We'd have cocktails by lunch. We'd have drinks around the pool. We'd have wine at dinner. We'd have cocktails whenever we felt like it. We weren't trying to drink. Yeah, we for weren't the just wasting drinks. Drinking. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we try to keep it realistic. And I think maybe a couple of days I approached 10 drinks a day, but that was very rare. Most days it was six to eight drinks a day. And there weren't any days that I made the quantity that it that it uh, needed to, that if we so, had paid for it, it would have broken even. So we know yeah. now if we go in Carnival and Royal Caribbean, we're probably not getting the drink package because, you know, we really can't drink that much. Right. So next cruise line we looked at was Princess. So Princess is interesting you can buy it per day, but they have the Princess Plus, which is a way better deal. And with the Princess Plus, it's hard to sort out, but basically it's $350 person more per seven day cruise. Now that doesn't just include your drinks. No. So it also includes your tips and it includes internet. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to get internet anyways, and most of us, hopefully all of us are tipping um, the crew with the tips that, that are laid out for us then you're getting an extra $223 worth of value along with your drink package. Mm -hmm. So when you take that away from the $350, I worked it out to be about $125 Canadian for a seven-day cruise per person per drinks. So, so that's not bad. That makes uh, Princess much more um, appealing when you're thinking about booking a cruise. Yes, for sure. Uh, like that works out to about two drinks per day. 
And even if you didn't use the internet and you you didn't tip, which hopefully nobody ever has done, then that's mm. that's four drinks a day, even just to get your money's worth without considering the other bonuses that are thrown in. Right. So that's still better than Carnival and Royal Caribbean. So right off the bat, Princess Plus has our attention as one of the better options. And the other thing with, with Princess Plus too is that those drinks don't even have to be alcoholic drinks. So we have people that are coming with us on a future cruise that rarely drinks alcohol, maybe two or three drinks a year. Um, but they purchase the Princess Plus because they will be having specialty coffees and, and soft drinks and uh, virgin drinks and all of that sort of thing. So it doesn't have, it's not just alcohol. It, yep. it, it can be your specialty coffees at the cafes, which is a really nice bonus. Yep. So even if you're having a coffee per day and a, and a glass of wine at dinner, your drink package is pretty well covered with Princess Plus. Yeah. So yeah, so we're, we're big fans of Princess Plus and we're, we're going to be trying that in a couple of weeks. And uh, then there's Holland America. They have the have it all package they have. Mm -hmm. And it works out. It's different for every cruise kind of, but roughly when I averaged out a few winter cruises as an example, it was an additional $438 per person Canadian to have the have it all package. Mm -hmm. Now, again, that includes more than your drinks. That includes, well, right now, the promotion changes from time to time, but right now it's a $65 credit per person on board credit. Mm -hmm. There's a $130 shore excursion value. Which is very nice, yeah. And there's a specialty dining, which is worth about $65 a person Canadian. And then there's the internet that's also included, which is worth about $130. So when you add all that up with the Have It All with Holland America, you're at $390 out of your 438 So again, a little bit of math, you're just under $50 worth is your drink package. If you're going to go on at least excursion, have a specialty dining, uh, you're definitely going to use your onboard credit and uh, use some internet. So yeah. even if you have one drink a day, one drink. you're better off to have that package. That's all package, yeah. Mm. yeah, without a doubt. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it, and sometimes this have it all includes, if you're watched during their deals, you can sometimes get the tips included as well as part right. of this package. We We've did. done that. Yeah. And when you figure the tips in, then basically your drink package is for free when you figure all the value mm -hmm. that's in there. Mm -hmm. So take a look at what you're getting there. If you're going to use those things anyways when you're on the cruise, sometimes this drink package uh, can be kind of an add-in for, for nothing just by doing the extra promotion. Right. And the last one I looked at was Norwegian. Norwegian was one of the first ones. In fact, the first drink package we ever had on a cruise line was Norwegian. Yeah. They have the have it all, or sorry, no, they have the free at sea. That's free what it's called. Sea. And their drink package is a little bit different. The other cruise lines that I was talking about there, they all have a 15 drink limit per day. So we've never come close to that. Some people think that that's very limiting. We've heard of people that <laughs> have, have uh, <laughs> hit their limit and been cut off and we're like, wow. Yeah. How are you still standing? But yeah, some people are able to. And I think yeah. maybe if you drink a lot of beer, maybe that's how yeah, they're probably, doing it. Yeah, probably, yeah. Less so than hard alcohol. We yeah. don't tend to drink beer. So that's probably part of the reason. Yeah. So where the free at sea, it's unlimited. You can literally drink all day long, all night long, and they're never going to cut you off. Yeah. So their additional fare is about $350 per seven-day cruise. Now, I say that hesitantly only because their cruise prices to begin with are a little bit higher. They kind of have marketed and put themselves in a position that the free at sea is obviously the best deal mm. that to book without the free at sea. Their base fare is probably more than most other cruise lines. Right. So they're kind of setting people up to make sure they use the free at sea because it's just simply not worth to, to, to not get it. Yeah. And with their, their free at sea, you're getting a uh, specialty dining. You're getting um, excursions, $50 per port per person. You're also getting the internet, excuse me. Uh, they also throw in sometimes airfare. It depends on where you live, if that's an option for us in Canada. We, I've never seen free airfare. Sometimes they do an additional, you know, discounted yeah. fare. We, we have a friend that ha took advantage of that and they had to pay a little bit more. So it still worked out to be a pretty good deal for them. Yeah, yeah. And when you figure all those extras in there, you're, you're looking at, you know, three, $300, $400 in extras. And the extra amount for the free at sea is about three fifty, so it's almost a wash that your drink package is almost free. Mm. So now the only thing is, if you're not going to go on an excursion to every port, and with the internet, you're only getting 150 minutes, so it's not unlimited for you. So it's not really apples to apples with the other perks and the other plans. Right. And what we found when speaking directly to the the excursion credit was, you know, fifty dollars at each port for a credit sounds really good, but you're hard pressed to find an excursion that was under a hundred dollars. Yeah. They're all 
very expensive excursions off offered at least on the sailings that we were at we couldn't uh, there was only one time that we took advantage of that perk yeah yeah exactly of all we've done three different norwegian cruises with the uh, free at sea and yeah only done one excursion to take through advantage them. of that yeah through yeah. them yeah mm -hmm. so when you look at all that that's five different uh, you know main cruise lines that we look at all, all the time out of the the caribbean mm -hmm. uh, which one would you go with which one is uh, if you look at that which one well, makes the most sense to you i mean what makes the most well, most sense or what I think I like I know the which best one I is had. different. Okay, what's yours? Let's say at the same time. Okay, Holland America. Hall, oh, you beat me too. <laughs> Holland America, I think, provides the best deal. Princess is really, really close. Right. And if you're not going to do specialty dining or an excursion and, and that type of thing, they're pretty well neck and neck. The right. Princess, you know, if, you, if you're not going to do the internet, yeah. then, then Princess is definitely ahead. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, Holland America, I think, because we would usually always get internet the specialty dining is kind of a nice perk to do through the beautiful week beautiful specialty dining you know, and if you get the free tips or the onboard credit that's just even more of a bonus than you're you're drinking one drink a day and, getting and, the, one. and then yeah, yeah exactly so but the princess plus is a really close second and if you do don't For do all sure. those things but i don't think you can go wrong with either one of those and uh yeah and the most expensive way to drink is to go on carnival royal caribbean which is odd because carnival being the the fun ship you know lots of people drinking all the time having a good time they must be making their money off of them. <laughs> That's, That's where the money's coming in. Yeah, because, yeah, the other lines are offering, you know, definitely more discounted drink packages. Yeah, for sure. So so I hope that was helpful. It's definitely kind of changed how we cruise throughout the year. We like the drink package because of the flexibility on board. Mm -hmm. We don't really need to have it if it's, you know, a longer cruise, like our 12-day, for example, then it's going to be a lot per day, then... You know, yeah. we'll, we'll use our other strategies that we talked about earlier. And also if we're on a cruise where it's uh, port intensive, that yeah. plays into it too. It's different. You know, we're going to be on a 12-day uh, cruise and 10 of those days we're off the ship yeah. exploring around Europe. So we won't be on the ship using a drink package much. Yeah, exactly. That's why at one point we didn't bring up, you're going to be off the ship a lot. If you're one of those people that gets off in the morning and does an excursion all day and gets back on when the ship leaves... You know, you might not get your money's worth compared to the people that stay on the ship all day long or they come back at lunchtime and, and spend the afternoon by the pool. So right. that's got to factor right. in too, is how much are you really going to be on the ship to actually make use of a drink package? That's right. So, but uh, thanks everybody. And uh, it'll be interesting to see with our Princess Plus to see how that goes in a few weeks. So definitely yeah. watch our vlogs and see how that Follow plays out. Follow along and see how we make out. And comment below and let us know what you think yeah, what's is the best... Uh, yeah, well, best drink package out there, the yeah. best cruise line that offers it, what your your experiences are. Let us know because there's some we haven't yeah. had any history with. Yeah, everybody's got a different opinion on it. And yeah, we'd be love to know how other people approach this. Okay, take care, stay safe, everybody. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.